707 to command. We have two hand locks. Okay, do you need the rest of the rig? Mayday, mayday, mayday. In the gym. KC Rescue Squad 1 just been hit. We begin with breaking news out of Maryland County, Mon Montgomery County, Maryland. Less than four hours ago, firefighters were battling this, a large fire at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Chevy Chase. But tonight we have new information on what led to this destruction. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Simone D'Alba. And I'm Adam Longo. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz is live on the scene. Rafa, you just got some new information about what led up to that call for help. What have you learned? Yeah, that's right, Adam. Montgomery County Fire and EMS telling us that that May Day call that you heard earlier was in response to D.C. firefighters being stuck inside of the church after the ceiling collapsed. Now, those firefighters were rescued and luckily no one was harmed. However, it was a delicate and dangerous situation. We're told that both D.C. Fire and Montgomery County Fire responded simultaneously here to the scene. We're also told that the fire started in the attic space of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints here in Chevy Chase before 1230. Now, Division Chief Charles Bailey, who has been nominated to be the next fire chief in Montgomery County, says it's too early to determine the cause of the blaze, and he's not calling it a total loss just yet. He says there's obvious damage to the roof and what's below has significant water damage. Bailey also added that the fire was hard to get to and that once they were able to get into the attic space, that's when the roof collapsed, forcing crews out right now, there's still concern that the church could collapse and that that steeple could come crashing down. Let's listen. We call in a structural engineer. You have to be concerned about the stability of the steeple. And then we have to be concerned. If you look at the top of that church, there is a steel I beam uh, that was exposed to tremendous heat. What does steel do when exposed to heat? They tend to elongate and that will weaken the wall structures attached to it. So that engineer is still assessing the damage here. As you can see right behind me, crews are still on the scene. We're told 100 people responded here to the scene, and we're also told by Bailey that the fire got a, quote, head start. Now, coming up at 5 o'clock, we'll have reactions from the community that are devastated to see this and are really feeling for the congregation that won't have a church to come to for the holiday season. I'm live in Chevy Chase, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. Rafa, just so good to hear that all of those firefighters are safe. You can only imagine what their peers and colleagues and the assistant chief there was thinking when that Mayday call went out on the radio. Glad everyone's all right. Thanks, Rafa. Yeah.